Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott Livery Marketing. Today, I just wanted to go over how you guys can update the email address that you have linked on your current DocuSign account. This process would be for any agent who already has a valid DocuSign account linked to command. However, maybe you have a new business email or team email address that you are trying to now use on that existing DocuSign account. So to start, I'm logged into command and I'm just gonna click on my name in the top right-hand corner and select settings. Once settings loads, DocuSign should be the first application, and you guys will see that I do have an account currently linked, and it's under my brittany.slm.new at gmail.com. So I want to change this email address. Maybe I have a new team email, and I'm actually gonna be swapping it to Brittany.slm, then the number two at gmail.com. So in order to do this successfully and move these email addresses around on my DocuSign account, I do need to have access to both email addresses. So I'm currently logged into the inbox of the existing email as well as the new email. And you'll see I have two tabs up for that. Once you guys have both inboxes open, you guys can then move on to the next step and go to the DocuSign login portal. In order to access that, and I have a separate tab up, it's account.docusign.com. So if you guys pull up a new tab, it's account.docusign.com, and you should see this login portal. And I'm going to start by typing in my email address. And this is again my current DocuSign account that's linked to command. Click continue, and then I'll enter my password, and then log in. There we go. Make sure you have the valid password. If you guys are unable to log into DocuSign, you can try doing forgot password. Or if you are unable to go through that process, let us know. Unfortunately, you may need to reach out to DocuSign.com in order or DocuSign support in order for them to reset it. Um, however, if you do try going through the forgot password section, it should essentially send you a link and a code over to your valid email address. But once you guys are logged into your account, on the top right-hand corner, you guys are going to see a circle, usually with your initials. We're going to click on that and then click on Manage Profile. And this has been taking a second to load today. Once you guys have this section pulled up, you're going to see the email address portion is right front and center, and we're just gonna click on it. It's going to have us provide our password again. This is the exact same password we just entered for our existing DocuSign account, and then I'll click Login. What this is is a prompt. It's actually going to send a very time-sensitive code over to our existing email address. So this is, the, again, the existing account for DocuSign, whatever email address that is under, that's where that code is going. So I'm just gonna click on it and it will send my code over. And then I'll pull up that inbox. Here it is. Open that up and I'm just gonna copy my code and come back to DocuSign and paste that in. And then I'll click Confirm. This is the section that you can now type in your new email address. So this is where you're going to be putting that new team email, that new business email, whatever email address you're looking to have that account under now. So I'm gonna update that to brittany.slm2 at gmail.com. Once I have that typed in, I'm gonna click on continue. It's now sending a code to that email inbox. So I'll pull up the tab that has that email inbox, just refresh it, make sure I have the newest code. I'll copy that one and paste that in here and confirm. Now my email address has been updated. I'll click on done. 
it brings me right back to my manage profile section. You guys can see that the email address is updated. In order to just verify that this is good to go, we're gonna click on the top left-hand corner and click on e-signature. This is going to bring us back to the main dashboard of DocuSign. And then I'm just gonna click on the top right-hand corner and click on Switch to Rooms. This will then pull up the actual Rooms platform. This is what the Keller Williams command platform requires to be set up in order for it to link to command. Now, once you guys have gone here, we're gonna click on Authorize, and it's actually gonna bring us right back into command. And we'll see here, it's still under my old email. So I'm gonna click on disconnect account, disconnect. And now it's saying it's not connected. Now I can just click on connect account and log in with my new credentials. So I'll click on connect account. I'll click on log in here. And then I wanna make sure that the correct email address is right here. So I'm gonna type in my new email that I just set up my account under. So slm2 at, g at gmail.com. So this is the new email address. And then I'll click login. You guys will get a little login screen. We're gonna type in the exact same password because we have not changed any passwords. They're all the exact same. And then we'll click login. And now that's connected. So that's how you guys can change your email address on an existing DocuSign account that's already linked to command.